let's just go with it. I'm going to use this brown. This will be a very kind of typical look. And just in the crease, just to get a little bit of depth, and then come up just a little bit out there. See, there's just a difference in depth. That's all it is. You could stop right here and not do depth. I always like that, as y'all know, if you know my videos. a bit of fallout. It's not good. Let's just get it off real quick. Where's my duo fiber? Duo fiber that go. This will work. Just flick it off. Both on the sides of my nose it's fall out and right here on the upper cheek it fell out. Hmm. I'll keep that handy. And I don't share my makeup so don't comment about the fact that I use my own spit to get moisture. You can use other things, obviously. You can use things like this. That's actually a chemical. This is a MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus, and a lot of people do that to wet the brush. But, I don't know. I'm more comfortable, believe it or not, with my own spit. <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to just uh, stamp right at the lash line. And go through the brow a little with the same brown color, just to kind of reinforce it a little. I kind of already did that, I think, earlier today with another color, but it'll work. So there's that. So I feel pretty good about that. I wouldn't mind, actually, adding, where is one of my flat shaders? Oh, what, here's one, my favorite one. This is Sigma, again, large shader or a flat shader. See how it's flat? But it's large E60. And I'm going to go in this color that's Blitz. I'm just going to add that, believe it or not. In the front part of my lid. I know you're light, Beth. Pink? Why? I don't know. Just in the mood. Just for something different. I don't know. Maybe from in person. <laughs> Reading I have today. Yeah, it's just kind of a pretty pink. I like it. Subtle. Flat shaders just put on creamy, shiny stuff easier, just so you know. It's almost like using your finger. Only you don't get it all over your finger. <laughs> and you can also use it to blend up into the crease a little bit so it looks a little more like you meant to do it. <laughs> you didn't just throw makeup on. Always start in the center and move towards the teared up. Because you got your dark color in the, the uh, outer corner. And then just blend it up just a little so it looks more, like I said, more professional looking really okay that's all that was for absolutely no reason that I did that <laughs> wait I'm gonna be crazy I'm gonna be absolutely crazy I'm gonna use a pencil brush and go into this Avenue color why I don't know I don't know but I'm gonna do it on the front what's that look like huh it was kind of similar to what I already had that is too funny Hmm. It's alright. Alright, so I'm going to leave that. <laughs> so look. Some of you are going, Bethy, what kind of mood are you in that you did that to your eyes? I don't know, but I do need to flick off all, oh my gosh, all that fallout. I hate to say. It was very buttery though, y'all. And sometimes you have to have trade-offs uh, with um, eyeshadows. But one I can tell you that doesn't have a trade off the buttery and the nice shimmer for Fala is Charlotte Tilbury. It's more expensive, but there you go. That's when it's worth it. And you just gotta decide if you don't have that money, what dupe can you find? And we can always look for that. Because y'all there's always dupes that are affordable. Always. Sometimes you buy stuff just as a um something fun to do. Alright, so now I need to blend because this looks pretty crazy. So let's just blend the front and then blend right at the, where the colors come together up here. Just kind of to tone it down, really. That's what I'm doing. Yeah. 
Then I always take the meaty part of my hand and kind of go past it right there just to make sure that there's nothing on either side. And then I always use my um, beauty cloths over here that I have attached to my desk. These little beauty cloths to wipe off any excess. And there is the look. So now I'm just going to add, oh, let's just add, what are we going to add? Well, first of all, is that gray? It's, it is. I don't want that one. This has been doing okay lately. This, of course, is the It Cosmetics No Tug Gel Waterproof Eyeliner. And it's just pretty easy, but it's just not as black as the um, L'Oreal Infallible, which, again, you can get at the grocery store. And to me, it's one of the best liners out there. Also, Wet n Wild, um, the one that talks about make it through the breakup or something. Breakup proof. Meaning that it's waterproof from breaking up and crying. And because I don't cry over a guy, you know it, grow up. If you were crazy about a guy and he broke up with you, yes, it's hard. So don't tell people, don't cry about it. If they want to cry about it, they can. And I think you have to process all kinds of grief. And certainly a breakup is a grief. And then you can move on, I think. But, you know, if you really cared about somebody and, you know, you're not in a relationship with them anymore, even if you knew that it wasn't good and so you're the one that did the breaking up, it still can be painful. So don't let anybody tell you not to have feelings you have. Um, I would always tell you, as a Christian, to take it to the Lord. He certainly understands relationships. He also understands heartache and breakup. He certainly has been through that quite a bit. So, he, do you not ever think that your your God is in relationships himself with us and those who turn away from him? It breaks his heart. He's very, he very much understands what that feels like. So don't let people tell you that you can't have feelings like that. Your own God has feelings like that. And he's the one to turn to when you go through stuff like that because he can understand and he can help give you peace and joy in the midst of heartache. And that heartache can be actual breakup heartache. He can still give you joy. Maybe not every minute of the day, but when you focus on him, you can. And he can get you through that grieving period. So, yes, I think it's important. So... Now I'm going to put on some mascara because I previously actually did my... Oops, there's a little eyelash. Okay. I previously did my eyelash curler because I knew I hadn't done my liner. And that I was also going to go back and kind of touch things up. So I am. And then when I get through with this, I am going to do a devotional for today. And um, it is about having peace, so maybe we'll, we'll talk about, you know, that peace that passes all understanding, a peace and a joy that you can have even in the midst of heartache. It doesn't mean the heartache goes away. It means God walks you through it, and you can actually not only survive it, you can thrive anyway. And it can be any kind of a heartache, but, um, you know, I don't know. Is, is somebody out there going through a breakup? Comment below and let us pray for you. Because, y'all, um, we're a little community, number one. And number two, um, the loss of any relationship, whether it's through death or whether it's through a breakup or whatever it's through, um, is a loss. It's a loss to the heart, and so God understands, and we can help each other through it. But most of all, when you don't have anybody on YouTube or a friend that you have in the neighborhood that's home or you know, a family member, whatever, whoever you go to, God's always right there. And so you have to learn how to tap into Him, the reality of Him, and um, how He can help you get through these kind of things. So I don't know why I'm talking about this today. Comment below if you have gone through a breakup recently and you would like some prayer. And, and, and those of you who read the comments, when you see that person, please stop and pray and encourage them. I want encouragement on this channel, not ugliness. I'm not, you know, some people say, well, it's just haters going to hate. There's going to be troll, stroller, trollers, trolls. And there's going to be people that just, you know, they want to give their opinion. And um, it's like, you know what? I, we don't need people out there giving their opinion in a hateful way. 
or just an ugly way. Maybe it's not truly hateful, but to me it's ugly. And th we want encouragement. And um, you want to encourage me, you go right ahead. If there's something you see that's truly wrong, you need to private message me and say, Hey, Beth. You said something that was so mean or so ugly or so unchristlike. And also, y'all, give me some grace. I'm not a perfect person, I, but I, I certainly want accountability. My friends, uh, if they ever see me, you know, and me to them, do something that's truly unchristlike, we, we do say, hey, in a loving way. Not, you need to not. No. The Bible tells us it should be done with a loving, humble heart. Humble. The person that made that comment wasn't humble at all but to me. They were they were just you know to tell me that um I'm snobbish or braggadocious or um only promote expensive brands that no one can afford. First of all, some people come to this channel to see those things, so that's part of my channel on purpose. Second of all, I've always said if you cannot afford that, do not get yourself in debt doing that. I don't ever want to encourage that. Hey, live uh, vicariously through me if I can afford it. And there's some months where I can afford it and some months I can't. Some months I got myself uh, in trouble with my PayPal account a while back and I just paid it off. And I don't ever want to get in that mess again. So I don't encourage y'all to, you know, live beyond your means or anything like that. So anyway, so this is the final look. What do y'all think? Do you like it? Anyway, comment below. I love y'all. I hope I said all the right things. If not, all for Christ. And I'll talk to you again soon.